You have a train to catch. <laughs> oh no! Got to stop falling for us, Parker! The Marvel Spider-Man 2 hype train is officially going full steam ahead. Unfortunately, given some of these recent news updates, we might be in for a bit of a bumpy ride. But regardless, welcome back true believers and all you spectacular Spidey fans to another very interesting Marvel Spider-Man 2 related video. So like you should all be fully aware of at this point, which I have already broken down the entire schedule of in previous 101 videos, is that we will be receiving brand new Marvel Spider-Man 2 information relatively soon at the the upcoming San Diego Comic-Con, which will be starting from July 20th through July 23rd. And as Insomniac went on to clarify on Twitter, is that there will be an entire hour-long panel for Marvel Spider-Man 2 starting at 2.30 p.m. Pacific Time, primarily focusing on the quote-unquote symbiotic relationships that will be included within the game, with a full-on behind-the-scenes look of Venom and the symbiote in action. And while I was under the assumption that this was already seen as general knowledge amongst the Comic-Con community, it does seem like that quite a few people don't fully understand that this is going to be an exclusive panel only tailored to Hall H at Comic-Con, and it will not be live streamed for the general public to watch. Because as it was asked by fellow Twitter user Goon towards Insomniac is, I am assuming that there will be no live stream. Where Insomniac went on to quickly reply that there is no live stream, but we will be live tweeting some of it. So yeah, everybody, if you're unfortunately not able to physically attend Comic-Con this year, then definitely make sure to stay tuned to Insomniac's Twitter page, as well as all the different Marvel social media channels, to instantly stay updated for any and all major news that will come out of this panel. Which I'm sure there will also be an entire Marvel blog page, just like they've done during previous Comic-Cons, which will fully break down and analyze all the biggest news announcements that came out of Hall H. But shockingly enough, the Hall H panel isn't the only thing that will be happening for Marvel Spider-Man 2 during San Diego Comic-Con. Because as as this was posted by one of the Marvel hosts who is attending Comic-Con this year of Josh Soleil, he did reveal on Twitter that there's going to be two other major Marvel Spider-Man 2 events occurring during the festivities, where one of them is going to be an entire Marvel Spider-Man 2 signing on July 20th, ranging from 4.15pm to 5pm PST, which will likely have the entire cast and crew of the game signing some exclusive Marvel Spider-Man 2 merch. And even more exciting is on Friday, July 21st from 1.30pm through 1.45 p.m. PST is a full-on Marvel Spider-Man 2 interview with some of the cast and crew. So if you're lucky enough to be attending San Diego Comic-Con this year, then you certainly don't want to miss your chance to attend these awesome events. And definitely keep a lookout on all of Insomniac and Marvel's Twitter pages to see if they'll actually be discussing about these events after they have concluded. But don't worry, because just like during the previous year's Comic-Cons in 2018 and 2019, where Marvel games did have a major presence at both of those events, we were able to actually see the entirety of the Hall H panel either from a third-party YouTube channel or from the official Marvel YouTube channel itself, who did go on to upload the separate interviews that did take place at the convention. And this is all to say that if you're unfortunately not able to make it this year during Comic-Con, then I'm sure there will be a full-length YouTube video uploaded on the site sooner rather than later. But on the flip side, everybody, this is where we start to move more towards the bad news portion of these Marvel Spider-Man 2 updates. In case you're someone who's been completely out of the news loop, there has been a massive strike going on from the SAG After Corporation. And if you're someone who has absolutely no idea who I'm talking about or even what that organization is, the SAG After is the Screen Actors Guild and the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists. And recently, they have decided to go on strike due to unfair treatment and unequal pay. Now, you might be wondering why this is important considering that SAG primarily focuses in areas like movies and television. Well, think Things relating to the strike have gotten so bad lately that it has started making people question whether or not the Marvel Spider-Man 2 panel will actually still happen at San Diego Comic-Con. Luckily, the advanced senior community manager over at Insomniac Games himself of Aaron Jason Espinoza did go on to clarify on Twitter that in fact the Marvel Spider-Man 2 panel is still going to be happening. And even coming from Yuri Lowenthal, or now being called Yuri Strykenthal himself, 
He did state that for those of you asking, yes, I will be attending the SM2 and the MK1 panels at SDCC. I wholeheartedly support the strike and my fellow SAG-AFTRA and WGA members, but the interactive video game contract is not a subject of the strike yet. Now, as you can directly see from Yuri's post, he did clarify that this recent strike should not be impacting games in any way, shape, or form. That is, as it currently stands right now. However, we don't know how things might change in the next coming weeks. And to further be the bearer of bad news, which I desperately don't want to, is that it might seem like that the biggest star of this Marvel Spider-Man 2 panel of the one and only voice of Venom himself, of Tony Todd, might in fact not be attending this panel due to the strike itself. Now, what I do find weird about this is that Tony hasn't specifically said on Twitter with a flat-out answer as to whether or not he will still be attending this Marvel Spider-Man 2 panel. But given everything that he went on to post on Twitter lately, it looks like it's leaning more towards the possibility that he might not be there. Where I did go on to screen grab a few tweets that Tony has either posted himself or retweeted relating to Comic-Con and the strike. Where he specifically says underneath this post relating to the Marvel Spider-Man 2 hype train that he is going to miss the glory, and that in relation to the SAG strike with Comic-Con panels, he did post that my problem is I've had a panel, so I'm out stand in solidarity. Now, once again, keep in mind that given with what Yuri said, that video games aren't necessarily involved with the attributes of this strike. But, Tony Todd, in comparison to Yuri Lowenthal, is a big-time actor who has been in several films. So, I'm not entirely sure if Tony is deciding to opt out of this Marvel Spider-Man 2 panel by the time it actually starts on July 20th. And I have personally gone on to direct message several people working at Insomniac and Marvel Games asking them about whether or not the cast will be attending this panel, only to receive no reply in return. So in short, ladies and gentlemen, which I know is not the answer that you want to hear right now, but anything at this point is possible. Even the possibility of Tony Todd himself not making an appearance. But we're just gonna have to wait and see until Comic-Con actually begins to find out what the panel will entail. But until that time comes, everyone, that's the video I have for all you today, and please let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think of all this crazy Marvel Spider-Man 2 news relating to San Diego Comic-Con, and which feature of the event are you looking forward to the most? Let me know what you think, be sure to leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy, and for more Marvel Spider-Man 2 videos like this in the future, thank you all so much for watching, stay spectacular Spidey fans, and until next time, peace out.